time, and it's all been for the better, and we've enjoyed our presence here in town and have tried to make a contribution to the community in any way that we can. So I'm here this evening to uh, reiterate kind of what Mark already uh, spoke about, uh, which is uh, our legacy project, which is the culmination of the uh, Centennial Committee's efforts to raise funds during the Centennial to build a, uh, some special place to um, commemorate and me uh, remember the past, the present, and the future. And so the site, uh, which was chosen by you council members, seemed to be especially appropriate since it's right at the uh, convergence of Allison, La Mesa Boulevard, and 4th Avenue, really where Drew Ford started their uh, original business and where Bobo now sits. But uh, that small plot of ground is going to be enlarged. Uh, during the centennial, we raised a little over $100,000, or a, a little under $100,000 toward the project, which total cost is about $165,000, which includes some uh, future maintenance fees. So it's going to be very special. And uh, when I was at the uh, Helix uh, Sunrise Service Sunday, I was thinking about that little snail that must have been crawling around there on those mountainsides uh, many years ago, uh, after uh, which the uh, mountain was named and Helix High School and Helix Water District. And it's going to be kind of the mascot of our little small mini park there called the Lookout. Um, Jess, Mary, Lynn, and their daughter Amy are the chosen artists to create this uh, special place for us. Jess is a retired uh, teacher, uh, sculptor from San Diego State. And at the present time, he has just created uh, a small, um, well, larger than life, uh, replica of the Helix Aspersa, which is the name of the snail that we're talking about here. And it's going to be one of the uh, special items at our event at Johnny B's on May the 3rd uh, in our uh, auction and probably in the live auction. There will be three different types of uh, opportunities there to win many lovely things that our committee, uh, Aaron Landau and Laurie McDonald, went up and down that boulevard um, soliciting lovely things from all of the generous merchants. And uh, there will be a live auction, uh, of which I'm sure the snail will be a part. Uh, it's being cast, just was, over at the foundry at San Diego State. And uh, the larger version, which will sit on the little plaza there, will also be cast there. Uh, Mary Lynn's contribution basically is the uh, mosaic uh, designs on the gazebo, and uh, under the gazebo on the floor will be the city seal, and under that will be the time capsule. So we wanted to make sure that everybody would remember where the time capsule was going to be placed, because the one that we did 50 years ago, no one seems to have been able to find. So this time, uh, we're going to put it in a place where everyone uh, will realize that it's there. So with the gazebo and the, uh, the snail, uh, it's going to be a, a place where we hope you'll come and enjoy and uh, say meet me at the lookout. And uh, Johnny B is being very generous in his uh, donation for the project, not only donating 10% of the profits that day between 11 and 5, but doubling them and uh, also creating a new drink called The Lookout. <laughs> and so we hope uh, that you will, it, it is a, an adult party, I will have to say, there are no children there. Uh, but uh, we're going to have, as I said, the live auction. And uh, uh, one of the donated uh, items is going to be a lovely jigsaw puzzle created by our very own Jay Witt. And so, uh, <laughs> uh, a 75th anniversary uh, silver coinage that we had um, made and still have a few of, as well as some street signs that are, have been replaced and are no longer in use as far as the city items go. Then there will be uh, a general um, a raffle, 
periodically throughout the afternoon. And then from four to five, if you buy your tickets there, they're five dollars each for the raffle, we're going to have a, a few very special items on what we call a Chinese auction. And a Chinese auction is a play, uh, where you have the items set out before you and a little bowl in front of it. You put your ticket only in the one you wish to wish they win. So uh, perhaps there are only 10 or 15 other tickets in there. So you have a really good chance of winning those in a, in a Chinese auction. So there's no charge for this event, just the regular um, charges for whatever you order uh, there at the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant's almost directly across the street from the site of this small mini park. And um, I hope that you all will come and support it and buy the $5 tickets for the raffle. You do not have to be there to win. And there are going to be a, lo a lot of lovely prizes. And um, I kind of think that's all that I wanted to say about that. But I do want to kick in one other thing. Ruth, your parade's going to be very special this year. Uh, my son-in-law is a, uh, the head of the Mustang Club, and the Mustang Club is celebrating their 50th anniversary. So before your very eyes, you are going to see the whole history of the Mustang car. <laughs> all the body changes, all the styles, and to head the whole parade, there's going to be a, a real live Mustang horse to start the parade. So it's going to be very special. And it will uh, follow our lovely event at uh, Johnny B's, and uh, hopefully we will soon reach our goal of $165,000.